I'm Dr. George Flynn. Welcome to lesson number 14. That's right. It's been a nice journey. I hope you've stayed excited. And don't worry, right at the end, right after lesson 15, we're going to have some examples of how you can carry out all of these missions that we've created for ourselves. Well, lesson 14 is about nurturing innovation and having creativity in your online business. You know, this uh, innovation and creativity are the lifeblood of any business, especially an online business. Every business comes to a certain point and it needs innovation. It needs a little bit of creativity. And this, remember, Offline, online, everything is evolving faster and faster. And so the ability to generate these new and fresh ideas and come up with new approaches and adapt to these changing needs, they're critical if you're going to maintain your creative edge and you're going, you're going to do it. So we're going to talk in, about the world of innovation and creativity we're going to explore strategies for fostering a culture of innovation. A culture of innovation, a lot of people want that in a job. You're going to be able to generate new ideas, overcome obstacles, and we're going to talk about translating creativity into tangible business outcomes. You know, creativity can just be a wish and a dream, but we've got to transform it into tangible, tangible business outcomes. Now you may be an entrepreneur or you may be brand new, uh, but you're going to understand this innovation, this culture. And I know I don't like hearing the word culture, this, and all. these sound like words that don't mean anything. But believe me, culture means everything in your business. Even if it's a business of one or two or three, the culture means a lot. And innovation is gonna drive progress. And what do we really want? Differentiation from everyone else. We wanna be unique and therefore offer a unique solution to problems. Now creativity sparks these new and novel solutions, and actually unique perspectives. Now, don't expect anyone to say, oh, that's a great idea. They're gonna say, oh, that'll never work. And you've got to push through that inertia and get the ball rolling to people, and then when it's going, people say, oh, I knew it'd work. Work every time. So don't let outside people sway you from your new ideas. So remember, Creativity, innovation, and these, these two, they have, they have a dynamic duo, and they're going to propel your, your business forward. A culture of innovation starts the top, middle, or bottom. It's at the top because the leader needs to show that they're pos they want innovation. Now, a lot of leaders may say, ah, uh, we don't want to hear from anybody under us because we're the smartest people in the room and they don't know anything. That is wrong. You've got to have the leaders at the top foster an environment where other people can have curiosity, they can experiment, they can take risk, and they're encouraged and they're celebrated. Because if you don't take any risk, you're not gonna change. So we're going to encourage curiosity and exploration, and we're gonna have, uh, we want people to ask questions. We are going to want them to seek new possibilities. We want to encourage our team to explore their outside comfort zones and where they are and build, the, break down the walls. We're gonna build new, new areas of comfort zones. So we're going to have a comfort zone, we're going to expand it, get comfortable, expand it some more. So we've got to challenge the assumptions that this is the way it's been done, 
This is the way it's always going to be done, and nothing's going to change. <clears throat> that is the furthest thing from the truth. Now we want a team of different perspectives, different experiences, and that's going to fuel creativity and innovation. We want to foster an inclusive environment and we want different viewpoints and backgrounds because who knows? Somebody else just coming into the f field in which you're working may have an idea that you didn't even think of. So you want to, on your online business, your offline business, whatever business you're in, <clears throat> you want to make sure you listen to different viewpoints. You don't have to accept them all, but you can listen to them. What about failure? Some things are going to fail. But you've got to see failure as one thing and not another. Failure is a stepping stone to innovation, not a failing and say, we're never trying that again. So encourage a mindset that views failures as valuable learning experiences. And that failures, they provide an insight for improvement. How do we improve this? And I want you to, in your online business, when you have more people involved, encourage collaboration. Collaboration with different departments or team, the shipping department, the sales department, the fulfillment department, the, the payment department. For, foster cross-team collaboration. And that can lead to unique insights, and one team might be able to say, well, you could do that a lot better. And another team would say, well, we've tried that, but we could try this. You see what I'm talking about? Let's don't silo people because they're gonna do the same thing. And if you do the same thing every day, don't expect any different results. Expect the same results. What about ideas, brainstorming, idea generation? I want you to establish regular sessions. They can be all, you know, they can be on the telephone, they can be on FaceTime, they can be on Google, they can be on Zoom. Somewhere where the team members get together, see each other, and contribute ideas, regardless of where they are in the in the team or what position they hold. Leaders. Leaders, you as a leader because you're going to form this business. You need to model adaptive behavior. You don't know everything. You think you do, but you don't know everything and you're not right about everything that you do know. So you wanna listen, be open. Listen to the people, people that work with you. When they bring new ideas, they're trying to help. They're not trying to make you look like you don't know what you're doing. They're trying to help. They're trying to help by creating and innovating. And generating ideas, it's just the beginning. You generate ideas in a brainstorming session. In a brainstorming session, remember, no negative uh, comments. You say, I've got this idea, and they say, if, if the leader says, oh, that's a bad idea, then the next person that has an idea will not bring it. So you need to make sure that you say, that's a great idea. Let's write that one down. Write every idea down so that you, that you understand that your team is trying to help you. And that boosts them. And then one good idea will bring on another one and bring on another one. So I want you to help evaluate these ideas then and find out, well, which ones are the best ones that align with your business goals and have the most potential for impact. Brainstorming. Remember, you can have mind mapping, you can have what if scenarios, and these techniques can actually really stimulate creative thinking and lead to ideas which may seem a little bit shaky when they're brought up, but they may be breakthrough ideas. So when you get these ideas, you want to transform it into tangible prototypes or concepts and test them with select group of users. You know, a, a feedback group, some group of friends or somebody that
can test these ideas or listen to the if, the, if it's a product, they need to test the product and say, that's a good product or it's terrible, it wouldn't work. Or if it's a concept, test out the concept on them and let them say, ah, I like it or I don't like it. Remember, Fred Smith, Federal Express, put his idea to his professor. Professor gave him a C on the paper because he said the idea would never work, Federal Express never work, really. So I want you to look at being innovative, but the innovations should be driven by customer needs and preferences. I want you to regularly talk with your customers, understand what they really want. What's their pain point? What are their aspirations? What are their desires? How can you fit into their plan of solving their problems and therefore become essential. How about the market? You've got to continue to look at the market trends. Keep up. Look at emerging technologies. You know, you've got a computer, you've got Google. Google your product and say, oh, what's different? And are customers, are their behavior shifting? Do they no longer need as much or do they need more? This knowledge can take your innovation efforts and keep you ahead of the curve. That's the goal, keep you ahead of the curve because if you're ahead, when the curve catches up to you, you'll have the product, you'll have the idea ready to fulfill that need. Whereas if you're behind the curve, somebody else is already fulfilling that need. You may get some, but not a lot. You wanna stay ahead. It's kind of fun staying ahead of the game. And innovation, yes, it has challenges. And what you've got to do is have a creative session. This would be pretty fun too. Identifying everything you think can go wrong. Everything you think can be a barrier. Everything that makes, make sure you come up with everything that is negative and see if it really will hamper your creative, creative efforts. It may not. And if it does, find out how you can get over, or under, around, or through that challenge, that barrier. And it may be that you, your idea is even more creative getting, getting rid of the challenges. Now, there's, there's change and there's risk. And a lot of people fear change, they fear risk but you're getting ready to do an online business and you obviously don't, you know, are not afraid of risk, but change in your life, uh, let's check, out, check on that. There can be resistance to change and it can stifle innovation. So you've got to address this fear by communicating what the benefits of innovation are. You've got to create a safe space for people to experiment and highlight the successful outcomes and actually sometimes highlight the unsuccessful outcomes because you say, oh, this is why it didn't work. Let's work on this problem and we can make our whole process work better in the future. Now, resources. You can get resources. We want you to have innovative efforts and be able to present those to partnerships or leverage available resources to overcome this challenge. We're going to make this business work. And I really applaud you for going through the course. And I cannot wait to get and bring some examples to you about how people came up with ideas, they saw the challenges, they overcame them, and they're successful. You can be too. I'm Dr. George Flynn. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.